you know, often when I was younger, you would walk in with a team, men and women, of doctors, and the, and the patients will always assume that the man with you is, is the leader and will turn to them. So I'm Gail Matthews, I'm Head of Infectious Diseases at the St Vincent's Hospital. Um, I also have another role at the University, I'm Head of the Therapeutic Vaccine and Research Programme at the Kirby Institute. I think a lot of women still can feel intimidated, particularly as they move up the sort of career um, ladder. Um, and, and women do still suffer from, you know, the imposter syndrome, feeling that they're not good enough, um, feeling that they can't, you know, um, uh, you know, can't compete as, as well as some of their sort of male um, peers. The, the, the old idea of the lead, you know, leadership being the one who talks the loudest or has got the loudest voice in the room or commands the most, you know, authority through those kind of more traditional, um, if you like, measures of, of, of being in control, I think are clearly uh, disappearing and, and, and hopefully moving out. And I think what we see now, and certainly my experience, and this is men and women, the best leaders, um, the best leaders I've seen are, are, are the calmest. And, and the kindest, and the ones who don't need to grab the attention, who don't need to grab um, the, the limelight because they're very um, uh, confident in their own ability. Have faith in yourself, you know, believe in yourself. Believe not just in yourself, but also believe in what you can give back to, you know, your patients and society and how important it is for you to be there as a woman uh, in medicine in terms of what you can actually uh, contribute. So believe in yourself, but also believe in what you can, what you can do.